This is Abu Jelina, a third year student. In this video, I impersonate one of the Filipino literary laureate that is prominent during Enlightenment period. Her personal background and significant contribution to the Philippine literature. Let's praise heaven and have faith in the future. We shall see not even the power of our enemies we are weaken our determination to promote the ideas we are fighting for. I am Marcelo H. Del Pilar, a Filipino writer, lawyer, and journalist. I am the one of the leading propagandists to reform the country. My pen name has Plaridil, Piping Dilat, and Dolores Manapat. I was born in Kupang, San Nicolas, Bulacan, in August 8, 1850. My parent is Juliana H. Del Pilar, as a Filipino writer, an excellent Tagalog grammatician, speaker, and poet, and Biasa Gatmatia. Brother was a priest to Brio del Pilar who was a banished on Marianas in 1872. I have nine siblings. I start studying in the school of certain senior Flores, and I transferred to San Jose University of Santo Tomas. My last year in law school was interrupted for eight years after I had quarreled with a Paris priest during a baptism of San Miguel Manila. I finally succeed in graduating in 1880. I established the Jaryong Tagalog in 1883, where I exposed the evil of the Spanish government in the Philippines and in order to avoid the false accusation by the priest to avoid the banishment I forced to travel in the Spain in 1888. I was assisted by Serrano Lactau in publishing a different catechism and fashion book wherein they made fun of the priest. So my arrival in Spain, I replaced Garciano Lopez as editor of La Solidaridad, a paper which became the vehicles through which reform in the government could be worked out. I have 150 essays and 66 editorial mostly published in La Solidaridad and Variation of Anti-Fire Pamphlets. I am also widely regarded as the father of Philippine journalism, Samahang Plaridel, an organization of veteran journalists and communicators. I have a different famous artwork of writing. First, Pag-ibig sa tinubuang lupa o love of country. I translated from the Spanish Amor Patria of Rizal. I published in August 20, 1882 in Jaryong, Tagalog. 2. Kaingat kayo or be careful. A humorous and sarcastic dig in answer to Jose Rodriguez in the novel of Noli of Rizal. I published in Barcelona in 1888. Also, I wrote the Salan at Tuxuhan, or what we called as Prayer and Joke, similar to the Catechism but sarcastically done against the Paris priest. I published in Barcelona in 1888. Because of this, I was called filibuster, done in admirable tone of supplication and excellent use of Tagalog. And also, I wrote Ang kadakilaan ng Dios or God's goodness. I published in Barcelona also. It was also like a catechism, sarcastically aims again the Paris priest, but also contain a philosophy of the power and intelligence of God, an eye appreciation for and love for nature. Another one, sagot sa Espanya. Sahibik na Pilipinas, or what we called us, answer to Spain on the play of the Pelpinus. This poem is pleading to change from Spain, but that Spain is already old and weak to grind any aids of the Philippines. Also, I wrote, the Luhan or Dalit ng mga Bugtong, or a, what we called us a periodical contest in the narrative sequences, a psalm and a riddle. And lastly, my famous artwork, I wrote La Soberania in Pilipinas, or what we called as sovereignty in the Philippines. This poem 
it can show the injustice of the fire of the Filipinos people. One of my saying, I have not stopped wishing for the renewal of our former ties, and I believe that slight differences in producer are not enough to destroy our common principles, purposes, and feelings. Once again, I am Marcelo H. Del Filar.